Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 1.6 Add whole numbers and our essential question is how can you add whole numbers? Okay, so let's unlock the problem Alaska is the largest state in the United States by area its land area is 578,374 square miles and its water surface area is 86,051 square miles find the total area of Alaska so underline what you are asked to find we need to find the total area of Alaska circle the information you will use okay so to find the total area means the land area and the water surface area together so we will add the 570,374 plus 86,051 okay so let's find the sum so 570,374 plus 86,051 it is important to line up the add-ins by place value when adding two numbers so the ones should be under the ones the tens under the tens the hundreds under the hundreds the thousands under the thousands and so on okay so step number one let's add the ones four plus one equals five let's add the tens seven plus five twelve so here we should regroup so twelve tens is one hundred the 12 tens is 10 tens and 2 tens. So 10 tens is actually 100 and we have 2 tens. So I write 2 tens and I'll carry up 1. Okay, so 7 plus 5 is 12. I write the 2 down and 1 up. Now let's add the hundreds. 3 plus 0 is 3 and we have 1 carried up so the total is 4 now the thousands 0 plus 6 is 6 okay let's continue now the 10 thousands 7 plus 8 is 15 so I write down 5 and I carry up 1 okay so the 15 10 thousands the 15 10 thousands 10 10 thousands are actually 100 thousand and we still have 5 10 thousands so I wrote the 5 under the 10 thousands and I carried up 1 at the 100 thousands now the 100 thousands we have only 5 and the 1 we carried up so 1 plus 5 is 6 so the total area of Alaska is 656,425. Okay guys, but we can do it fast like this. 570,374. Remember I should line up the numbers by place value. So I write it like this under the 4, 1, under the 7, 5, 0, under the 3, 6, under the 0, and 8, under the 7. So let's add now. 4 plus 1 is 5. I write 5. Also when I write the sum, I line it up with the numbers by place value also. So 7 plus 5 is 12 so I write 2 down and 1 up now we have 1 plus 3 plus 0 1 plus 3 4 plus 0 4 now the thousands 0 plus 6 is 6 7 plus 8 is 15 so I write down 5 and carry up 1 now at the hundred thousands 1 plus 5 is 6 now we will add a little step before adding and it's called the estimate 
you can estimate to tell whether an answer is reasonable. To estimate a sum, round each add-in before you add. So at this example, estimate then find the sum. Juno has an area of 2717 square miles. Valdez has an area of 222 square miles. What is their combined area? Combined means together. Okay, so together or combined means the total. I have to add these two areas. So we are adding 2717 plus 222. So first at step number one, we will estimate. Okay, so here we will estimate to the greatest place value, which is thousands. So the two thousands, should we keep it two thousands or we make it three thousand? We look at the digit to the right. The seven is one of the strong digits. So the two thousands becomes three thousands. Now 222, we round it also to the greatest place value, which is the hundreds. So the two hundreds, should we keep it two hundreds or make it three hundreds? Look at the two to the right. The two is weak digit, so we'll keep it two hundred. Now let's add zero plus zero zero, zero plus zero zero, zero plus two two, three plus nothing three so three thousand two hundred this is our estimate so our exact sum should be something close to three thousand two hundred so the combined area of juno and valdez is about is about three thousand two hundred square miles okay so here let's find the exact sum so here we found the estimate now let's find the exact sum so 2717 plus 222 7 plus 2 is 9 1 plus 2 is 3 7 plus 2 is 9 2 plus nothing is 2 so it's 2939 so the combined area of Juno and Valdez is 2,939 square miles. Okay, here he asks, is the sum reasonable? Okay, is the sum is acceptable? Yes, we can say yes. Why? Because 2,939 is close to the estimate 3200 okay so if our answer is close to the estimate it means it is reasonable okay but if the answer was something like 500 only in this case we say it is not reasonable because it is not close to our estimate Okay, now for share and show, use the grid to find 738,901 plus 162,389. Okay, so first let's align the items by place value. So I write the first number 1, 0, 9, 8, 3, 7. And the second number 9, 8, 3, Two six one. Now let's add one plus nine ten. So I write zero down and one up. Now one plus zero plus eight. One plus zero is one plus eight is eight. Then nine plus three it's a twelve. So I write down two and carry up one. One plus eight plus two. One plus eight is nine. Nine plus two is eleven. So I write down one and one up one plus three plus six one plus three is four four plus six is ten so i write down zero and carry up one now one plus seven plus one one plus seven is eight plus one it's nine so nine hundred one thousand two hundred eighty 
okay now estimate then find the sum in addition we will round to the greatest place value so here we will round to the nearest ten thousands okay so this is seventy thousand do we keep it seventy thousand or we make it eighty thousand so look at the two the two is weak so we'll keep it seventy thousand plus here the one is at ten thousand so we keep it ten thousand or make it twenty thousand look at the eight the eight is strong so the one becomes two so it's twenty thousand and if we add zero plus zero 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 seven plus two is nine so it's ninety thousand this is our estimate okay now let's find our sum 1 plus 3 4 3 plus 6 9 9 plus 5 14 so I write 4 down and carry up 1 now 1 plus 2 plus 8 2 plus 8 is 10 plus 1 is 11 so I write down 1 and up 1 1 plus 7 plus 1 1 plus 7 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 so it's 91,494 and it's close to our estimate 90,000 so it's reasonable okay number two let's estimate then find the sum so here we will round to the greatest place value it's a hundred thousand so the four hundred thousand do we keep it four hundred thousand or make it five hundred thousand we look at the digit to the right it's a three which is weak digit so we keep it 400,000 okay here we have 200,000 to the right of it we have 3 the 3 is weak so we keep it 200,000 400,000 plus 200,000 I write the zeros 4 plus 2 is 6 so our estimate is 600,000 okay now let's find our exact sum 8 plus 6 is 14 so I write down 4 and carry up 1 now 1 plus 6 plus 7 1 plus 6 is 7 7 plus 7 is 14 so I write down 4 and 1 up so 1 plus 0 plus 5 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 5 is 6 then 2 plus 9 is 11 so I write down 1 and carry up 1 1 plus 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 now 4 plus 2 is 6 so our answer is 671,644 and it's close to our estimate 600,000 so it is reasonable okay last one estimate and find the sum okay so we will estimate to the greatest place value which is the six here it's at the ten thousand so we keep it sixty thousand or we'll make it seventy thousand look at the digit to the right of it the four the four is weak so we keep it sixty thousand now the three is as a 10,000 so we keep it 30,000 or we make it 40,000 look at the digit to the right of it the 8 is a strong digit so we make the 30,000 40,000 if we add 0 0 0 0 6 plus 4 is 10 it's 100,000 so our estimate is 100,000 okay let's find the exact sum 5 plus 2 is 7 0 plus 7 is 7 5 plus 9 is 14 so I write down 4 and carry up 1 now 1 plus 4 plus 8 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 8 13 so I write down 3 and carry up 1 1 plus 6 plus 3 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 3 is 10 so 103,477 and it's close to our estimate 100,000 so the answer is reasonable okay guys hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and if you are in my class we will discuss what you did learn from this lesson 
and on your own questions have a nice day and goodbye